What's up, champ? Yeah, what's up, man? What's this about BMW? Yeah, no. Yeah, talking about the cars. Milos, Milos is just getting on me because he said I had two cars. No, oh, okay, here's right. something. Yeah, yeah, I, I want you to hear this. First, here is Chris Cormier with all this Louis Vuitton shit and whatever. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then uh, that is good. I, I, I wonder if you watched it. I wonder if you watched that thing from the outside if the Louis Vuitton will still be on there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, but, but, uh, I said it's been a dry cleaner. Just <laughs> yeah, Samson, I, I know you're crazy about the cars. I mean, oh, uh, yeah. when I need some uh, advice about cars, you know, just ask Samson. I mean, he was telling me how to operate my Mercedes from here. You know, shit. He knows more. Yeah? But anyway, <laughs> so if you didn't know, uh, uh, Dennis has a crazy ass Mercedes, crazy ass BMW. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I so saw you had, used to have the AMG, didn't you? The I GT. used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had that too. GTS, yes. yes. Oh, well, that was sweet. That was sweet. <laughs> that was really sweet. I really wanted one of those. That but listen, sweet. Samson, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I've been driving Mercedes for 30 years. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a certified BMW auto mechanic. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, but, oh. But, but I also recognize that Mercedes was always ahead of BMW. Yeah, yeah. But, but. now... With the new 760 BMW caught up yeah. and went one step further, and yeah. that's when I switched. Yeah, because I don't think the new the new S class wasn't really. It was great, but I don't think it was that innovative compared to what the BMW did with the 7 Series. The, the, the new S class was, but I tell you, the, I'll be perfectly honest now. You guys are talking over my head. The, the, the new S, <laughs> the, the new the, the new 58. I had the 580 for a year and a half. Yeah, and I had the the old the, the, the generation before. I was driving the S class before that, and yeah. that drove I don't know. It drove much smoother than the new one. Yeah, and I had I too many it. too many electrical issues with the car. To be honest, yeah. So, really? oh yeah. And BMW just man, they got automatic doors, big screen in the back, like, all damn. that crazy stuff. Oh, you got the one with the screen as well. Oh hell yeah. The cinema, cinema <laughs> effects. Oh man, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. all out. That's yeah. all out. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, you know uh, what? When I was in Germany last time, I tried to do, I tried to test drive a, a 760, the new one. Yeah. And I went to the same place where I where I was working, 40, 35, 40 years ago. Oh wow. And they said they, had, they said to get the car. They said it's one and a half, one and a half years of uh, get on the list. No waiting list in one Germany. I said they already oh. sell them in the U.S. He said unfortunately the U.S. gets them before they get them in Germany. No way. Yep. Yep. Wow, that's a that's a doozy. That's a first. They didn't even have one in there for me to look Jeez. at. You know, let alone oh. to drive one. So no, they said no. They have to wait. Oh, so wow. are you a BMW guy too? Oh uh, yeah, I got the A50i. Oh, okay. Nice yeah, car. Yeah, nice yeah. car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did mean, you? I was, I was a Merc, I was a Merc guy as well, man. You know, yeah. The S63 AMG. Yeah, that was my thing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah but, I had yeah, all the. Rolling, I, I had them all. I had them all from the. My first AMG was an E55. Oh, <laughs> man, the monster! Yeah. The monster with the, yeah. the one with the V8. Yes, yes. The e, it looked like it's fucking. It's a. It's a grandparent's car, and I was on the autobahn in Germany. I was killing them. Oh. Now, Samson, what, what, how much did you pay for your license plates over there in England? Oh, uh, because we don't pay license plate. We pay the obviously the oh, car yeah. comes with price and oh. then you pay tax monthly on them. Hmm. But even uh. that, it doesn't. I think I don't know the way they do it in the U.S. It's a bit different. What's that for? So the, for, that, for a personalized Dorian, license plate? Yeah, twenty five dollars. I thought Dorian told me that his his one that he had back in the day, or uh, or was it Kerry Keys had a. Thought he had some kind of expensive license. license yeah, if you want to get like personal, that. if you want to get personal one, you can go all the way to you know from eighteen hundred, three hundred to three grand. It just depends on what how yeah. uh, like exclusive it is. So oh. I think it's, it's you know here it just depends on what number or what name you're trying to get. And right. if there's no one else has it, then the more expensive it is. Would you oh, consider? Wow. Would you consider a license plate, Mister O? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'll be like, yeah, because I know there ain't nobody driving that. Didn't UK. didn't nobody didn't claim that. Hey, UK. didn't Dorian have a license plate, Mister O? Yeah, he, he had he probably, something. Was it Dorian or, or Ronnie? Somebody had a Mister O license. No, Ronnie plate. had that. Ronnie had it. Ronnie okay. Had that. Yeah. Ronnie so had yeah. That. Listen. First of all, hey, thanks for making the time. I know it's late there uh, in England. Oh, thanks. Uh, the it. new Arnold Classic champ, man. Let oh. me get just tell me this. How did you? Did you believe, bef man, listen, you were the first one to sign up. We talked about yeah. this a couple of weeks. Yeah. You were signed up before anybody else. 
All of a sudden, oh, yeah. everybody else jumps in. Did you yeah. believe in your heart you're going to go to, uh, to Columbus and you're going to win the Arnold Classic? I didn't believe I could do it. I yeah. didn't believe we could do it. Because after the, I think it was after the Olympia that I really started to believe it. Mm -hmm. And I knew, obviously, we kind of look back at Olympia, we saw the, with the look we had then, and I knew we didn't pick perfectly for it. So coming off that, I'm always better the second time around. I'm always better the second show around. So I knew I was going to be better enough to do it. So even when Nick jumped in, I was like, okay, he's going to be your biggest competitor. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I like, I just know that I could take him. I just knew that if we're coming better, you know, we listen to judges' feedback in that time, we can change a lot in that time. And I knew I could take him. Mm. Well, you, sh you, sh you sure did. Hey, um, Samson, how did you feel getting that first call out, your name being called? And you're walking out there. Like, oh, how he, did you I mean, come on. Moment? Come on. We knew he was going to be in the first was, call I out. Like, I think it was no, a, but, the first I mean, but when you're first time up there, it means. You should have. No, you should. Chris, you should. Validation. Chris, you should rephrase the question. How did it feel in the first call out to be standing in the middle? That was the part that I actually. Because you get the first call out, you come out and say, you're like, okay, okay, this is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said, oh, to be, to they be said moved like, oh, Sammy Rami switch. Yeah. And I looked over and I was like, is that the middle? Like, <laughs> like, <"What?"> <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And you stand there and the whole time you stand there, you're going, oh, please, just don't switch me anymore. I'll, I'm good right here. Don't move me Cause, anymore. Because the, the first call out was, was it five or six? Five, five. guys, five guys. Five. Yeah. five. Yeah. So everybody until Rami, yeah. So yeah, yeah. that was, so that, that, that felt great, didn't it? Oh man, it felt amazing. You, did, amazing. Did, you know what actually felt better? It actually felt better when they said Steve went, okay, guys, back in line. And I was like, yeah, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like, he just did a whole out with you in the middle. Go. I have another question for you. <laughs> yeah. Did Milos t talk to you after prejudging regarding what yeah, I told him? Yeah. yeah. Did he really? Why no, would he, he do he that? Didn't, he didn't tell me. No, he didn't tell me after prejudging. Oh, okay. He told me after the finals when the show was. Oh, like, okay. <laughs> and I was like, oh, what I was it? like, well, it's too late now. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? But you know what? You deserved it, man. You sure did. Oh, you, you deserved man. it. And you know, and, and it's, and I don't know if, if Fua told you that, by looking at the screen, it's just not the same. Yeah. So whatever yeah. the people saw on pay-per-view is not the same. Because the same I saw way. pictures and videos from some people taking it off, I mean, basically in front of the stage. Yeah. And this is where you could really see the condition coming through. You know? Because honestly, I stand there and you can obviously see the screen in the back on the back on the back wall and that. And I can look at the guys posing in front of me. And I look up and I look at the screen. I'm like, that shows nothing like what I'm yeah. seeing right here. And that's what we and was looking at. That's what we were looking you know, at. Yeah, and so you really do you know, people you always say this whole thing like, Oh, it's not the same unless you're standing right there to watch it. It's so different. And until you actually get the chance to see that face to face, you never really understand what they mean. You always say, Well, how much different could it be? But it's so different when you're standing there and watching it in the flesh than when you're looking from a screen. Yeah. But yeah, Samson, I'm just going to throw this in. I'm sure that you're watching. Dennis, yeah. Chris, and I were uh, constantly, okay, predict, 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 predict. Yeah. Right? So, and I, I started right away with Samson, uh, Andrew, and I finished with uh, uh, Samson, Andrew, Nick, Rami, Clarita. Yeah. So, yeah. And I couldn't wait to catch... Uh, Dennis, Dennis is there. And I'm there. Anyway, so what did I say? What did I say? Uh, and then he goes, like, nope. You know, that <laughs> stupid face of his. Ah, <laughs> he, can, he, can, he can pull it off like so oh, good. Oh. <laughs> I, I heard Nick is winning. And I was like, eh, oh. no fucking way. But, you know, Dennis hears things that I don't hear. It's like, oh shit. It's like, no, 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 no. Yeah. It can't be. And I go there to Fuad and then I went to. Uh, uh, Honey Rambo, and then yeah. Gary Clancer, and uh, they all seeing you winning, of course, too. And I was like, shit, you know, Dennis fucked me up, and he said, he's, <laughs> he's spoiled my dinner completely. Uh, I, let you tell you. I was so fucking hungry, and I couldn't wait, and sit there, and they didn't even eat it. <laughs> you know, you know, that was funny, because, that, well, he don't tell you, like, in the finals, the day of the final or the finals, you know, he comes into the hotel room to have a look at me, and you know, Milos walks in with this really down look about him. I'm like, we left last yeah. night after preaching and feeling like, yes, come on, we can do this. We're doing this. <laughs> then he walks in the next morning after all night. He couldn't hide it. Huh? Like, he couldn't hide we, it. We, he couldn't hide it. He came back in yeah. and he looked so down. He was like, man, we just got to get you better tonight. And we just got to make it. And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, we were all celebrating last night. What's changed? Like, what's going on? <laughs> I'm like, dude, what, what, what went wrong in the last 10 hours? Uh, you know? 
he definitely did get to him. He definitely did get to him yeah. the next day. I would never do that again. Yeah. <laughs> that's messed up, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I said the same to Fuad. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But yeah, that's why that definitely needed a team talk, man. He needed like, okay, come on, let's get, let's calm down. Okay, now nah, let's just focus on what we got to do for tonight. I mean, right. we love the look, and uh, we knew just okay, let's go for a second there, a little bit tighter too. Listen, all this talk that I was saying, I knew that uh, okay, he's gonna overwhelm uh, Andrew in size and thickness. You know, that's beautiful shape, similar body. You know, this is what I say hashtag bodybuilding. I want that direction. I was. Calling it, you know, from the beginning, Andrew and Samson are going to be there, right? With this Samson still being ahead of him because he's so much more thickly muscled. Andrew is beautiful, right? But if he comes down, how 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 far down he's going to get? And that's exactly what we saw. I thought that uh, yeah, Nick is uh, uh, slimming down. Uh, uh, Samson's going to confirm with you. We were going back and forth, and I was sending him the, the, the picture, crop pictures of Nick's legs. I mean, because it was visible. I see. Do, don't they see this? Mm. You know, going into the show. <laughs> really, I mean, uh, again, but you know how we are, we are in a sport that uh, people see what they want to see, right? Uh, yeah, and and I, I, I've been like this before. I take the picture. I cover the upper body. I look at the legs. I, I cover the legs. Look at the upper body. Right. I said, when anytime you do this, like this is not representable. This is not. Uh, legs that could be, you know, top five, you know, uh, things of that nature. And then especially when you say such a huge disbalance with most perfectly balanced, right? Most perfectly balanced in, uh, you know, so much thickness, size, width, completeness, and, uh, you know, way better conditioning. So I, I was quite confident, but yeah, Dennis, just <laughs> for, for me knowing what you know, <coughs> yeah, this is not well, I, I think the strength is that uh, it's, that's what you're supposed to be trying to look like when you go to compete is you want the shape, you want the muscle, this muscle shape, the, separ the, the separation, the, you know, that hourglass body, uh, the calves, the, everything was matching. The balance was matching. Um, I, you, now you say hourglass. Ford says that all the time. And I'm always <laughs> like, Hourglass is that is don't we refer to females with hourglass yeah, shapes? Yeah, yeah. It's like Chris, Whoa, Chris, beauty, Chris, man. Chris, <laughs> Chris. I didn't uh, say nothing because I was live on pay per view with Ford. I was like, you keep saying hourglass, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Stop this. <laughs> Ford, if you're Ford, if you're listening, don't call a man hourglass shape. <laughs> For the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, I don't, I don't want to do the thing like you know, everyone's saying Lee Haney and all this stuff. You know, I'm that Lee Haney is like my number one guy. Uh, but even Lee Haney recognized, even Lee Haney recognized you, man. That's, That's crazy, that man. that got that got to feel great. That got because Lee oh, Haney man, is, really does. you know, you know, one of the all time because, greats. Like, yeah, man, because he really does, man. Because all through the time, obviously, you hear loads of comparison. People that have compare you to this person, that person, and you try not to ever listen to or pay so much attention to that because you always think, look. You're just trying to do you. You're just trying to be you and do your best and do you. But when you then have the acknowledgement from the person themselves saying, dude, hmm. this, this, yeah. is, this is a great But now person. think about it. Mind. You think about it. You're yeah. about the same height as Lee, and you got 40 yeah. pounds on him. I know. And it's, it's crazy, <laughs> man. Because that 40 one, pounds that one, that one, that one, it's, I mean, you talk about eight-time Mr. Olympia. You talk about Lee Haney. You talk about someone that you were watching way before you even had a clue how to even what bodybuilding was, and you were looking going, wow, that's a crazy, mm. crazy physique. I, I tell you, you get that back, that like now. you get that back, like Lee Haney is a wrap. Oh, man. That's a of, oh yeah, curtains for a lot of people. Yeah, oh, yeah and I don't, and I don't, even, I don't have a single doubt that 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 Samson can come in even again much more improved at the Olympia this year because the way you've been improving from show to show by doing all these shows. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. But, yeah. So I can only imagine what you're going to look like. Uh, come to but Olympia. I, I don't. Yeah. Were you influenced by uh, by Milos doing all those shows, or were you like, I'm gonna do no, this show, I'm gonna do this like, show? I mean, like for me, like every year I've, since I turned for every year, I've always done four show minimum every year. So we've always kind of done that because we always want to qualify for the Olympia. So we did as many shows. I mean, for especially in terms of financial, it works out easier for someone who's competing. It's like, okay, you're in shape. Do as many as you can while you're in shape. You know, I, I mean, yeah, I, I don't really get the idea of just going through all that dieting for months and months and months. Do one show and be like, okay, that's me done now. 
So you always know pick as many shows as close together as you can. So yeah, it I, just made when, sense. When we, when we start talking, right? Remember, uh, the plan was uh, two shows. You were going to do the yeah. uh, Anno Classic in, in uh, Italy right in after, Italy. right? Yeah. And why? Because uh, he didn't have a financial support and pay for all this fucking trip, more. right? Yeah. And so keep this in mind, right? Mm. But now, as uh, after great Anno Classic, one point lost to Nathan Diasha, right? Okay. Then you went to Italy and they screw you royally. You placed third in, uh, behind the uh, Roddy Winkler. Right? That, that was like, whoa, oh my God, right? I said, Let, let's go to the Egypt. And then in Egypt, again, I think that you look tremendous, you know? It, it could be between you, you and Regan, right? We said, yeah. listen, call the Prague. For sure they're going to pay. I mean, come on, right? And then after this, he, he came that will pay for Romania and he could just keep keep competing. But now it's a different ball game. Yeah. Now yeah. You can enter any show, any time, get the preferential treatment, you you have arrived. I mean, so we did nine shows, okay? Yeah. You know, Chris, you and I did so many shows, right? Here is a perfect example. Uh, you know, biggest hopeful for Mr. Olympia this year is now hopeful after he competed in nine shows in a year and a half. Well, they said, no, take your time. Take your time for what? Yeah, wait till you get old and yeah, cr yeah. crusty. You, know? <laughs> yeah. you, need, you need the off season for this. You need, you know, look at him. Perfect example. Growing, improving as we're going along. Yeah, but, and, yeah, but Milos, we, we got to be honest too. This is not something that, that can happen with anybody. No. You know, th this, he's, oh. a special, he's a specimen right here. I mean, <laughs> this is not normal. Okay, I mean, no. in the, all the years yeah. that I've been doing this, I've never seen anybody compete as many times as you can. Yeah, I see people compete, but not getting yeah. better and bigger with every show. So. But the so, thing is, though, you know, you're a competitor, and you don't, you don't really have tomorrow to think about. You have, no. like, right now. No, absolutely. You have this situation right now. So I, I commend him for stepping up, because it's, if you're able to do it, you know, do it, and... Why wait around for you to slip and fall and break your damn leg and now you can't compete or whatever it is? Right. So here's the question, though. Do it. Yeah. So here's the question now. Since you have arrived, now nobody, all yeah. the guys that beat you years a year ago, two years ago, they won't have to stand in line and do it and pay their dues. You're already there. So now what's going to change? Are you just going to go for the Olympia or are you going to keep competing? I'm going to keep competing. I'm sorry, but I know a lot of people still saying that, and they're like, you know, you once you miss the Olympia, it's like that's it. You just do the Olympia. I don't. I love bodybuilding. I love competing. Good. And the idea of me just saying, okay, my career then becomes one show a year, and before you know it, five years gone, three years gone. You only did five shows and that. It feels like I don't know, not not a waste, but it feels like a a very short-lived career in an aspect of you didn't really do much mm -hmm. in that time. So I already said to like even the guys that I don't know, I'm like, yeah, regardless, they were like. You know, we don't want to wish you too much luck just in case you win the Olympia and you don't come back to the Arnold. I'm like, don't worry. Even if I win the Olympia, I'm coming no, back. No, that's not what they said, did they? Oh, they did. <laughs> and he, was like, he was laughing. He was like, yo, I don't want to wish you too much luck going to the Olympia because in case you win it, we want you back at the Arnold. I'm like, don't worry, man. I'll be back. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Yeah. So, I've, I mean, I know I understand why some guys do that and they don't want to compete and they just want to do the Olympia. They want to fix on the big show. But for me, I'm like, you know what? I don't, I don't get a long time doing this. Uh, so I want to make history. I want to be able to do this and have so many memories from copying as much as I you, can. Because especially people, if my buddy isn't suffering for it. Do you mm. think people are just afraid that that ratio of wins to losses is going to yeah. suffer? Because I don't think it's about winning and losing. I think it's about no. you getting better and you getting better as a competitor. Yeah. And you getting the experience and you knowing, okay, if this happens, this is what I'm going to do next time or yeah. whatever. I think you just keep sharpening your tools. Yeah, and you learn you learn a lot from those from doing some of those yeah. shows. You learn how to compete better. I mean, the Olympia to now is a prime example. It's like if we had done the Olympia and didn't do anything else to another Olympia next this towards the end of this year, we would have had to wait a whole year before we try to refine what we did and how can we make it better. But having another opportunity to compete again so close gives you a chance to say, okay, right, what did we miss and what can we do better this time so we can learn from that. So by hey. doing those things regularly, you learn. Yeah, and um, three hundred thousand feels pretty good too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you get? A, did Ford give you a bonus? Oh yeah. All right, uh, awesome, he awesome. Listen, what does it feel like now, going from oh, being this dangerous guy from from England of being 
probably the most talked about guy, and, and everybody's already putting you there as a Mr. Olympia. What does that, what does that feel like? Uh, it's, it feels unreal. Honestly, there's no way you can let that sink in. It's just because I understand, like, for some people, it's taking time, and they've come, come from the back and placed top 10, top four, and they sort of worked their way up there, so they had that time to let it build in. Mm -hmm. But when you've come out from, like, just two years ago struggling to qualify for the Olympia, and then now you're at the point where they're talking about you about winning the Olympia, you know, your mind doesn't catch up fast enough for what's happening. You just kind of just sit there in shock and going, okay, all I can know I can do is put my head down and keep doing what I'm doing. Right. But it's, it feels unreal. It does feel like, wow, this is, this is crazy. But it's amazing, man. It's an amazing feeling. What was it like going back to England as, a, as the Arnold Classic? First British Arnold Classic Arnold, champ. Oh, man, it felt great. It felt great. Can you tell the difference? Can you tell the difference now? Yeah, yeah, you can. No matter where you go, it's like you have that and people recognize that and it's right. like, wow, you know, is uh, is that pridefulness of everything. Wow, yeah. this is... It's awesome because is, all of us competed at the Arnold, none of us won. So man, we don't even know what it feels like. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I yeah, tried. I, I tried. No. I tried. I tried. <laughs> so Milos, Milos, let, let's let's play Nostradamus for a minute, because you basically everything you said about Samson, you know, came true. Yeah. What is your prediction for 2023 and 2024? I sincerely, honestly without any filters, I'm saying he has the best body in bodybuilding, okay? Mm -hmm. And that best body in bodybuilding is going to be biggest, balance, most balanced, shapely, and in condition, good enough to beat the guys there right now ahead of him. We all respect him. I, I love both Hadi Chupan. I think that Hadi you know, could be multiple Olympia winner, in my opinion, not missing anything dangerous by all means. But again... He's going to go against this just unbelievable shape and size and balance of, of Samson. So do I think that he has a chance? Yeah, he has. And Derek Lansford, all the credit to him, uh, he has um, stunning shape standing there, front double, uh, back double. It's uh, amazing. Who has better shape, Samson or Derek? I love uh, Samson's shape better. I mean, look, Derek has uh, more pronounced V taper dramatically more X frame going on, even though we're riding the horse. I mean, we're not going to talk about this exactly. <laughs> Be beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I, I like to make those jokes. Uh, front double, back double is a state of the art, okay? And back in general, uh, right now, is a, he has a wider, thicker, you know, more detail. So these are the issues that we have to overcome. But... Uh, as you mentioned, Lee Haney, who was comparing him to Lee Haney two years ago? Very few. And this is the question I want to ask you. When did you guys uh, saw his potential? And I've seen potential from long ago. And I said, he kind of looked like Sean Roden and kind of like a Flex Wheeler. He kind of looked like uh, Phil Heath. And he kind of looked like Lee Haney. And then we say, I just had four of the fucking most perfect bodies, <laughs> three Mr. Olympians. Mm. And uh, yeah, this is Samson, right? He is growing into that. Now, do we have a conditioning to beat, uh, uh, what's his name? Hardy. Uh, you know, it's it's hard to imagine, right? So just if we were going into the show over here, okay, if you, even if you lose a little bit on the super strided, super dry, hard look on some guys, the balance combination of is going to be super hard to beat. I mean, uh, I, I, I would... Uh, I like our chances. When I would say, yeah, we're going to go there and win the show, but I like our chances. Mm. I think, uh, like you said, 2023, 2024, uh, you know, for me, early bad favorite. Yeah. Samson, how do you feel going into the Olympia yeah. now? I feel the same way, man. I feel like I like our chances. And at the same time, I know for me, it's, look, I know how hard what, I work. What does that mean, season. like our chances? What does that mean? Because because I know how fast I'm improving, and I know how, you know, right now, as it stands right now, it's not good enough to beat those guys. But I also know that we got, what, you don't think six, you don't think You don't think your package at the Arnold would be able to compete? I don't think it's, I don't think it's, I don't think it's there yet. Hmm. And no knock on anything, I just don't think it's there yet, because is, I know is that... that because, are, are you it. talking about the conditioning, or are you talking about the overall body, package? I'm talking about, I think I'm, I'm talking about because we got to be able to at least stand towards them better with back shots. 
Like and you gotta, you commission. gotta make, you gotta make people go whoa when you turn around. Yeah. That's you know, what Ronnie. Uh, that's what Ronnie had had that wow factor when you turn yeah. around, and that's what's gonna be, put you over the top in my in my opinion. Yeah. Like my my best advice would be study the back, study mm -hmm. your back, study every inch of your back, every aspect of training you can put into yeah. it, and just make that your top priority. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's gonna be you know. That in glutes is going to be <clears throat> your your ticket. Are you, have you guys come up with a game plan yet for 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 the rest of the year Rega oh, regarding back to trainings? Rest. It's uh, uh, honeymoon time right after. The, Are you able to uh, contact? Uh, yeah. By the way, congratulations <laughs> on that. Like, yeah, I leave him alone a couple of weeks, not talking. I know that he's already back in the gym and all this stuff, but no, we we have a, a time. But just as uh, you, you mentioned about the back, and then it's you saw uh, Samson's back from two years ago, right? Oh, different. This is two, two, two different backs. Yeah. yeah. And uh, how about the shoulders? You know, there was a, you know, so you've seen the difference there. I've noticed arms, you know, to the point that I was kind of shocked when, when he was posing for me. It's like, hold on a second, Malena, am I seeing what is there? Or, you know, I'm just uh, like his arms, his side triceps all of a sudden, right? So that good thing about him, and, and I mentioned you guys are you know pointing finger at me. Uh, don't get him big. Don't get him big. You know, watch that stomach. Watch the waist and all that stuff. I said, look, he's improving in shape. The bigger he got, the shapelier he got so far. The way I see it, it's like no any signs. Of course, the whole world is watching. We don't want to risk anything like this happen. Right? Hmm. Uh, does he need, you said it, he doesn't need to be bigger. Uh, then it's the thing you mentioned. Samson doesn't need to get any bigger. Well, but he does need a bigger back, right? <laughs> yep. You know? So yep. you still need to get bigger, you know, to to contest the guys like uh, Hadi and. Uh, and are you uh, talking food wise or are you talking training wise, like to get bigger? Well, you gotta have like both, the muscle right? itself? The muscle yeah, itself or have, weight on yeah. the scale? Now nah, we talk about muscle itself. You need a bigger back visually, you know. Right, exactly. There you go. I, I actually, there you go. I actually would throw away the the, the scale if you ask yeah. me. Oh, he I mean, doesn't have to worry about no scale. No. Yeah, yeah, I would throw away the scale. I I, don't, I could care less, really. Yeah. People always ask how I got here. <sighs> I was willing to work just a little harder than everyone else. Every damn day. If I can have hundreds of hours back, you know I'm gonna grab them. Spending hours prepping chicken, rice, and vegetables, F that. I rely on perfect nutrition. I rely on trifecta. So, it's so, a so. Feel, feel, a feel good thing just to have the step. Right, the right. Numbers. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so, Samson, so, so, now, so now you're taking some time off. When, yep. uh, when are you planning on starting your. Olympia prep? Um, probably, I mean, we want to have some time off and then like sort of give a body a proper break and everything else. And then, when, when you say proper break, what? how long are we talking? So, I mean, now I'm pretty much rebounding now from the show. I'll be there for another two weeks and I'm have a proper break for at least six to eight weeks. And then from that point on, we can watch- When you say break, you mean break from the supplements or you break from training? Break from oh no, break from training. Training, I train all year round. There's nothing. There's no break from okay, training. Okay, I'm I'm no. a, yeah. I'm not talking about the no. supplements. I'm talking about your training. Yeah. So you basically oh no, I'm I'm back in the gym already. Okay, there ain't nothing like that. You know, we just literally just immediately we got off. I had a week off and I'm already back in the gym. Already. We got to improve what, what we what we brought then. So that's what, what, full focus on what, that. With your win at the Arnold, how does that? boost your confidence as far as like right. are you gonna did that make you train ultra harder like you oh, were, yeah. like you almost like it's almost like oh, a loss yeah. you're just so oh, yeah. motivated to improve uh, you know you know some people they get fired up when they lose and some people get fired up when they taste the victory for me as soon as i taste victory i'm like okay so that's what uh, hard work can bring. Okay, guess water, what? I'm, about to, I'm about to blow everything up now so for me it just it fires me up even more because now i know that whatever i'm doing is working so right. I'm like, okay. Oh, you more. should know. You sh you should know that already for a year and a half. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why it's I, been, been working. Getting better yeah. because I keep getting better each time my confidence comes in. Yeah. So yeah. The only thing you need to worry about: make sure you don't injure yourself, because that's the only thing. No. 
that can stop you from being Mr. Yeah. Olympia. Yeah, because Milos told me that. I mean, he told me that right from when we started working together. He was like, look, right now, the main thing you have to make sure you do, don't get you don't get hurt. No, no skateboarding. No uh, football. <laughs> no. No camel no. riding. No al no arm no arm <laughs> wrestling. No arm wrestling. Oh no, arm no. <laughs> uh, no, but but see, uh, Dennis, as you said, is we all fans of this. I'm surprised how well he's responding. Uh Samson is surprised how yeah. each and every day he is looking at like who, who's here? Who is this guy? Right? I mean, so that's the beauty of it. So uh, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Uh, as you say, like, uh, Chris, is he going to be eating much? More? No. You know, there is a certain limit. I mean, he was growing perfectly just the way we want it. So formula is there, but that extra work. Why would anybody take uh, uh, so much off from the gym? I know your question, Dennis, also, do you take a time off? I never did in 15 years. Mm. The only, And I said that story, the only time I did is because my ex got me in front of Lee Haney, in 99, after did every single show that was organized, I said, oh, you need to take a break. You need to take a, a couple of months break. And the only way that to take a couple of months break is for me not to step the foot in the gym for a couple of months. And that's the one time I did it, and I lost every drive I ever had. I could not, not come back the third month and the fourth month and the sixth month, you know. So I, I didn't want to insist, you know, right after... Uh, the Olympia, and right after here, Arnold Classic, I said, okay, give the Samson complete freedom. I, I just enjoy yourself. I know uh, there are many yeah. things you're going to do, but I was already hoping, and I, I get the text message, oh, he's already yeah. back in the gym. I said, thank God. Right? <laughs> you know? <laughs> because how, how, old are, <laughs> how old are you, Samson? 37 last week. 37. Oh, so happy, happy a, belated a, birthday. You're right in it. You're right in the prime, no, thank man. You. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, thank well, you. you know what? One one thing that <clears throat> I'm sure uh, uh, Milos can attest to this. I'm glad that you have a solid uh, home life and a controlled um, surroundings of yourself. Yeah. Because that's one thing that's I feel like it's going to be a strength for you because you don't have to worry about it. You know, the chicks on the road and the whole. <laughs> The whole, <laughs> the whole oh. craziness that can take away from your your sharpness okay. in your mind, your focus. Yeah, so that that's uh, that's a good thing to see, man. Oh, thanks, man. We appreciate oh, that. Definitely. Do you do you train Do you train out of one gym in England? Do you have one? I train out of three gyms. Oh, okay. Depending on depending on obviously the session, what gym has the better equipment for it, and basically the time. Basically, you know, yeah. obviously when gyms are the most busy is. So now you so now you basically you can you can tell them listen listen I want my parking spot right in front of the door with a sign and everything. <laughs> they still made me pay membership in one of them. So I'm, no, really? Yeah, man. Seriously, like yeah, man. UK is different, man. UK they love bodybuilding scene and they're only getting more and more into it. But did they acknowledge you winning the it. Arnold though when you came back? Oh, they of course they did, but they didn't and they, my membership. Uh, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't stop me. <laughs> maybe <laughs> they didn't that out of it. Maybe they give you a couple of months for free now. Oh. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's it's it, but is it like a hardcore bodybuilding gym or is it more like a yeah? I got two of them hardcore. The one because that one is basically is literally a minute from my house, so okay. that's like you know more like a session. Session, I just want to do cardio and stuff like. It's literally yeah. I could literally walk two seconds and be there. Yeah. So that's the only part there is, and that's because it's not a hardcore bodybuilding gym. You have that ability where you're not known. Yeah. So, so it gives you that point to go in and focus like that. So every time when, when, when people compete, usually, especially when they compete, they think they compete for the title, yeah. knowing that there was $300,000 on the line. Did you yeah. make any plans to spend some of that money? Dude, who doesn't? You always you appreciate that. That's why. Like, that's, that's why. why, I'm, why I'm, that's why, why you Samson. That's why I'm asking you the question because yeah. I know that's what we all do. Be like, okay, forget three hundred thousand. What would you do? What would you do? Right? It's not like, oh no, I don't. So care what? About so that. what? <laughs> so what? So what are you gonna do with the part of that money? Dude, man, a house. <laughs> I already told Miller's like, look, we were already looking at houses before yeah. before that. And I was like, man, okay, let's just let's just have a smart. little bit of a dream about what very happened, smart, you know? so, smart. Okay, yeah. So of course you do. I mean, it'd be crazy if you're kind of like going through, you're beating yourself up and you, you're losing drive. You need something to kind of motivate you. A bit. Right, so, right, right. I mean, right. The idea to look at it and go, man, well, if I do that, maybe I can do this. It defies you up in the gym, man. It gives you yeah. motivation as well. 
Yeah, yeah, smart move. Buy, put a, buy a house, get a house for yourself. And then when, uh, when you win the Olympia, you just pay it off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look, the guys that have been here before me, man, they give me the best advice, man. They give me the best, the smartest advice as well. Yeah. Because obviously being young and stuff like that, you might think, well, you know what, because everybody, I went to, I went earlier to, uh, before doing the prep to look at McLaren, and I only wanted to see if I fit in it because I was so big. And I was like, okay, let me just wonder if I fit in it when I'm slim down. I went in there and it was, oh, everybody's looking, everybody's saying, oh, he's going to buy a McLaren with his Arnold money. I'm like, no, really? You don't, you don't, don't want to, you don't want to buy nothing no. that depreciates. Trust me. Exactly. Exactly. You know? So, so, but you know, but yeah. that's, you know, that's everybody is going to be a, a, a fan, financial advisor now. You know, every fan who you know, most of them don't even know you. Yep. They will try yep. to financially advise you what to do and what not yep. to do. Of course. So, if you want to put money in the house, you go ahead and buy that house, man, for sure. Is the housing market expensive in England? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> extremely, extremely so. Yeah, you know, I mean, that one's just crazy. I mean, I mean Milos we was there when we were in Vegas. We were looking at homes in Vegas at the time. Just going to check out the difference in it. And what you get? So in much US, cheaper in Vegas, yeah. huh? Wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. You felt like crying, man. You saw the difference, man. This is horrible. This is not fair. You should get yourself you like you this small in Vegas. So, so mm -hmm. did you did you ever think about maybe relocating or uh, locating to to the US? Yeah, I did. We did think about it before a few years ago. I was actually seriously like seriously thinking about it. And so sort every of time that goes on, man, it's just like because it's not as easy because you knowing the states when you're moving across states, it's quite easy to do. It's not as hard as it. When you're moving countries. It's a lot, lot work to it. There's a lot more to what's it. What's so hard? You know what, what's, what's the work? What do you mean? You got to, you got to sell your house. You got to move everything. You got to sell everything you already have. You got to, your, your whole financial, you everything, small, financial family, everything is here already. You're gonna have someone have to dissolve all that. And then no, but fresh. You, I wouldn't get something, something small. Here, okay? Here's what I would do, and this is not a financial advice. I'm just telling you what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> here's what I would do. Brother. I wouldn't sell anything, and I wouldn't sell anything in England. Because you don't even know if you really like it. You what? Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't sell small, nothing. If you, if you own a house in England, that's, that's money that you always yeah. have. You know? Oh, yeah. Just relocate, find a place, maybe rent a place first, see if you can stay, yeah. get your green card, you know? And if you like, because I think if you are in the, if you're based in the States, yeah. it comes with a lot more opportunities. That, yeah, that, is, that. that is because that. Yeah. You, you experience it. Tell yeah, me. it comes with a lot more opportunities for you to <laughs> do <laughs> things. For you to do things on a call. Let's listen. I, I, can you guys post next week there? Can you come here for a store appearance? Yeah. Because some people they're willing to pay your fee, but they can't. Pay, they can't afford to pay for your business class ticket. That would oh. just be too much. <laughs> because you don't want to fly yeah. economy, do you? <laughs> no, no, not really. <laughs> okay, so here's what hey, I'm saying. So if you're based, huh? You're talking to normal people like me and Samson. We would not dare. I'm talking. Do, listen, I'm talking to the Arnold yeah. Classic. <laughs> Twenty-five years. Listen, yeah. I'm, listen, I'm talking uh, to the Arnold Classic champ. Yeah. Listen, you don't know how much you're gonna like it if you like it at all. But I would come no. rent, let's say six Pay. months, and then buy if you find something. <laughs> Because that's why I always said, like, if I was going to ever do something like that, it would be a case of having a place over there and then having six months and six months and see how it grows into me. Because if I end up going, actually, yo, I see how I see You, would, you would probably I, like it, though. You would probably like yeah, it. Yeah, you know. So I think that's, you have to test it first because if, then if it doesn't work out, you know, you always, you ain't sort of starting again or going backwards or anything. Yeah. Like that. So it would be a case of actually testing, testing it out first and having, like, a six-month period over there first. Right. Like Are you planning on coming for the Olympia early this year? Oh, probably, so. yeah, probably this time, yeah. Because, because yeah, speaking, speaking of what you did, uh, Dennis, I know because your case is you also you lived in Thailand, then in Germany, you yeah. had to come back to America. I mean, uh, Nasser, somebody back in the day, I, I told him back in '93, I said, Listen, you know, whatever you can do there, you can do so much more in the uh, States. Gunther Schierkamp, right? Uh, there, there are many cases, uh, Samson, uh, uh, never even you know, we never even discussed that. Yeah. Now, especially what already happened and what could be happening, I think it will be a great business move. I'm the worst person to give you business advice. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but uh, as far as, the, yeah, you should be. Milos is okay for business advice. Just don't get no yeah. marital fucking advices. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, listen. I, I was insisting uh, when I heard that Marlena and, and Samson are not married. We, oh yeah, you last, thing, 
The last thing after the Olympia. So you just got married too? Yeah, on my, on my birthday. On, the day of, on his birthday. Uh, how am I supposed to know? How, well, congratulations. <laughs> man. I heard the honeymoon earlier, but I thought this was maybe just... To, yeah, but oh. I, I tell him, what, what are you guys waiting for? As a matter of fact, they were on the way to the airport. From uh, we, we had a only institution before the flight. I say, you know what? Here in Vegas, we can go to drive through. You know, yeah. I can be a witness. But we because we planned it, man. We always plan, but we just put it up because we've been together for so long, and it just feel like we've been miracle for so long. Right. And every time we say, look, we got to go make it official. We got to make it official. But we've just been always busy, and there's always other things that we've never actually just saw solidified. Not, we got to go do it. You're not trying so to stay basically, on the it. No, <laughs> <laughs> you don't make your undefeated uh, record go ahead. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh no, I mean, so it was just basically that point where we just like, okay, we got to do it now. And we said, look, we just booked it off the literally week after we came out from, um, I don't know, they were like, look, let's just let's just call it and actually do it officially. Let, let me tell you something else, and that was for me, that was that was the best part of the whole pay per view broadcasting. You know, me and Fuad were sitting right yeah. next to each other, right? Yeah. When you came out for your posing routine, yeah. you had Fuad crying on oh, fucking set. I heard about that. I heard about He's that. He's next to me. I'm like, what you crying for? <laughs> he, <laughs> he was literally crying because you copied his routine. Yeah. Yeah, and he sit there. Oh, I, I had to pet him. I was like, "Come on, it's all right." No, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, I, I heard someone told me that you go, man. You made yes, like, no, you made, you made him. <laughs> made, he was really emotional. Oh. It was, it was, oh, it was, cool. it was so great to see because it looks like you guys have a great chemistry, and this oh, yeah, is, yeah. and this is hard to find in this industry to have good chemistry mm. with your sponsor. Yeah. Because we always know, you know, it's great to have a sponsor, but sponsors always use you, and when they don't need you, they get rid of you. You yeah. know, they always find a way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so so this is yeah. good to see yeah. that that there is a chemistry there and, and you know, that the way he feels for you. And I think you, you, you're you in a pretty good no, spot here. Oh, thanks, man. That's awesome. Because like I always say, I give shout out to him because, you know, he ha helped me out when I was in a really hard time and a right. really hard jam. And, and, you know, no one else was even looking at my angle. And so to have him reach out to me at that time and took a chance, mm. he was like, man, dude, I got nothing to offer you. I didn't have a great following. I wasn't big. I wasn't winning shows. So when you kind of looked at me and say, look, dude, I see how hard you're working. Let me just, I'll give you a handout. Let me just, you know, I'll sign you up to my team. It was it was crazy. And then to see what came from it, it you know, I can't help but just say, man, dude, thank you so much. Mm. It really helped change my life. Great. Yeah. You know, what, who has been there, done that, he has an eye, he, he knows. I mean, he was in position. I, I'm delighted. I can, marriage made for, from heaven. And especially right now, what is happening, what is great. Uh, I could only imagine what he felt like when he posed, but you guys maybe overlooked Samson's routine last year was spectacular. I know he, he copied several routines. Kevin, John, <laughs> and Flex. Mm -hmm. Most dramatic thing ever. And this didn't have won uh, Best Poser Award. I, I'm, uh, I'm in shock. I mean, still, uh, and I ask you if you have those videos. All right, so he's, so he's $10,000 short, you're saying? Hundred percent, no twenty thousand. No, it's it's ten. It's is a ten. Oh, you mean from last year too? Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was remarkable. I, I, um, yeah, I, I became like when you first came out with doing you doing. I was like, hmm. Well, <clears throat> but then like as you start doing more and more stuff, I was like, oh, okay, I'm a fan of this guy now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here is a question. That was real cool. <laughs> here is a question because okay, all four of us are posers. Of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a poser. Of course, Bob Chicarilla, right? But the, the comments were like, okay, he didn't hit and uh, hit the poses long enough. He didn't hold them long enough. Mm -hmm. I'm first to say, yeah, I like long enough. But there are those dynamic poses and there are poses that you can do them quickly in this sequence, and it makes music. perfect sense. You, yeah. You could hold the pose five seconds. I mean, Joe Weider back in the day is a mile loss, hold your pose, right? Hold the shit. Or photographers, Chris Landis, Millers, I love it because I can I can get the shot, right? But for me, being that slow guy, I didn't think for a second that you were too fast. You know? I think you you show the tried, pose. Yeah, because we tried obviously a couple of the poses to match the music and the music that I was playing at the time. And trying to make that dramatic effect. So you come in, you start off very slowly, you move on, and as the music gets faster, you get <coughs> faster to reach that finale of it. 
And that's all how we've kind of worked it to actually make the routine kind of stand. And at the end of it, we just basically look, have some fun and show the other side of it. You know, so when I see you pose, I think of yeah. one song. It's an old, old song. I don't have, yeah. I, haven't, I don't think I ever seen anybody post to that song. I, I remember when I was still competing in Naba, there was one guy from England, he used that song. And uh, I can't remember who, this, who, who, the, who, who, who the artist is, but the song's called Music Was My First Love. Oh, right. Okay, I'm going to have to try that now. You, you, know, that you now. know the song I'm talking about? I don't know the song. I'm, I'm music. Mu uh, uh, Milos, do you know the song I'm Just talking Google, about? Google, Google the lyrics. Music was it. my first love. You remember that song? It starts yeah, slow and then it goes into a faster pace and it comes okay. back slow. Here, give us a give yeah. us a fast part. No, look that song. Wait, let me let, let me find it. Let me find it. <laughs> Google it. Google the lyrics. It'll come up. Uh, what, what do you think? This and this is the point I was making, right? These are uh, uh, the the pictures I post. Uh, There's fire in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. I mean. Uh, uh, nine poses and nine. John Miles. Hey, shit. You know, nine, nine. So I was hitting, I, I posted, it's uh, 10 screens right here. It's like 85 poses that uh, that he did. How, <laughs> how, how many, many photos do you, you have in that? How many photos do you have in that phone? You have photos. <laughs> have like photos listen, photos. listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> Do you know that song? I don't know that song. No, no, no. That's some. That's some. That's the. I can't. I can't. This. <laughs> listen, Samson. Listen to that song, John Miles. Music yeah. was my first love, and see if you cannot use that song for the Olympia. I swear to God, yeah, well, you will thing, kill it. I tell you what, this is the thing we're posing though. Back in the day, people had better attention span, so you could pose to that and people would pay attention. Now. If you first five, 10 seconds of a posing routine isn't something exciting, most people just drift off. I think that song, song along, that alone the song right. will make me pay attention. <laughs> Mil <laughs> Milos, you don't know that? Milos, you never heard that song? Yeah, I know, I know the song, I know the song, but uh, I have a mix, mixed feeling about it. Uh, oh, uh, you probably met, <laughs> you, he probably, he probably met one, of, he, he probably met one of his ex-wives on that song. That's probably what happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, huh. I, I mean, Captain, I got one for you. Yeah, Ray, yeah. Charles, Ray Charles, a song for you is perfect. Oh, yeah. A see, song for you, see, man. Uh, you, all you, old guys, you guys, you guys have the best song taste, man. Song you guys have the no. I was taste. listen. I'm not That's saying. I'm not saying you should use the song. I'm just saying when I see you pose, I'm Some thinking about this song. I don't know why. That song. Because yeah. the guy from England, he was similar. He has a similar look to you, not the body. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember his name, man. He, he was pretty pretty famous in England, but that was I'm talking in '92, '93. Uh, is that uh, yeah, what's the guy? Huh? Always. What's you name? can see you can see Samson pulling off great routine with this song. But this song is not powerful enough to leave impression for Olympia winner. And that's the thing. Well, that's, but they, that's yeah, the, 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 routine, the routine is not... Put they something else they don't even judge the routine. Hey, hey were you, hey, were you I had think, those lions? I you think had those that lions more and more and shit they're considering the everything. Yeah. As, as, hey, uh, we had the, the lions going off in that music? Yeah. That shit was powerful, man. I was like hyped. I was like, God <laughs> damn. That's why I was like, man, what the hell was that song, bro? I'm at the. I'll try yeah, to I know because you were asking shit. for the song, right? Yeah. I'll try to Shazam it. I'm like, wait a minute, what is song? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm gonna do a routine. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a routine. <laughs> but I was excited for you, man. That was awesome, dude. Oh like man, thanks, said, man. You did something we didn't do, and that that damn thing, man. Yeah. So, yeah. so are you going somewhere on vacation now? Um, we got so much traveling to do. I mean, I'm going to Wales next week, and that's just me and my family sort of having a road trip to Wales next weekend. But then straight after that, we're basically on the road, you know, short um, guest seminars, guest posing up and down the place. So mm -hmm. we're literally going to be all around the world. Next so you're bringing your wife along on to, 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 the, to the appearances? Yeah. Oh, so that's, that's yeah, kind of yeah. like, a, a, it's nice. Yeah, so it's basically, yeah, so it's just me and her. You know, dog stays home, but it's just me and her. So we get the chance to actually travel and actually do the appearances and not feel like mm. you're away from home and, you know, you're missing much that way. So um, it's just too bad. It's too bad that my show in Frankfurt is a week before the Olympia. 
Oh yeah. Uh, I, I would I would have loved to bring you up to Frankfurt to to guest post. Then I would have post I would have posted that song at your show. No, I don't care. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't care what song you do. It's just because because I you know because it's it's kind of like I always last couple of years I had you missed the Olympia guest posing. Yeah, yeah. Prior, oh, right. prior, prior to. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. That would be yeah. interesting. But That'll it's a, it's literally the, the the weekend before. Oh wow! Yeah, Damn, so, I'll probably already be in the states by then. I know, and you know what the problem the problem is usually the Olympia. I thought it was going to be back in like October, sometime early October, end of September. Yeah. So now it's November fourth, which means because oh. I have my show on the twenty eighth, and I have another one in Germany on the eleventh. So I got to come back for the Olympia and go back to Germany. Back again. That's, uh, when is, when is your show? Which date? October twenty eighth. Yeah, you say the October first. The daughter has a daughter shot from uh, Germany. That she tried to contact you. She's sending me another message. Hey, uh, you're not saying October first. I think it's too yeah. Close she's doing she's doing my regional show. Yeah, oh. yeah. I think it's too close to the Olympia. Uh, well, if he if he was in England, then it's not that bad because he's got an hour flight. Yeah, you know. Okay. Anyway, I'll, I'll send you the link again. Uh, you know, just just in case. Samson would be a per perfect guest poser for uh, you know every yeah. weekend. But yeah. but Samson, what about uh, uh, November 11th? That's that's like a week before. That's two no, weeks, that's a week after. Oh, is it a week after? Yeah, I have I have my oh, my wow. my I have my I have the the pro qualifier, the Dennis James Classic, October twenty eighth, and I have the German Nationals on November eleventh, the first Nationals in Germany. Ooh, actually, yeah, hit me up in the email, man. Yeah, I'm gonna hit you up on your fucking WhatsApp. I I hear my wife start. No, 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 She said no. Send them to your people, man. Hey. Huh? Oh, Mel's Mel, Mel like, oh, you might need to do Olympia qualifiers. Don't freaking book anything. Oh, come on. She said, what? Do you need another Olympic qualifier? She, she goes, you never know. You might have to, do, you won't want to do another show straight after the Olympia. There's no show after the Olympia. There's, there's what? Is no. there a show after the Olympia? In November? No. There's no uh, the, uh, no, the, no Prague. Romania. Romania is before. Hold on. Prague. Is there no uh, no no Euro tour? Um, no European tour. There might be a European tour this year. Since when there's a European tour, Chris? Huh? I'm just asking. <laughs> when was the last? Hey, when was the last time we anybody been on a European tour? I'm asking, uh, man. I'm asking. Ninety nine. No. <laughs> no, they have, they have, they have, they have two shows usually in the in the fall, and that's the that's the Romania Pro, yeah. and the uh, the Prague. Hey, uh, one thing, uh, Samson and Marlena, you should look forward to. If you're going to Dennis's show, you're going a uh, business class guarantee. So. Yeah, true. Hey, we will be flying. We'll be flying from. He's, he's, he's going to be. A, he's going to be on the bus from England. Like next door. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Ryanair next door. Romania Hold on. When is Romania Muscle Fest? November 11th, It's the same weekend. Oh, shit. Okay, so yeah, if you want to compete, then, then, then we, we have to yeah, make we'll it in see. maybe we'll, 24. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe in 24, we'll as a Mr. Olympia, then. No, we'll see, we'll see. You might be a case that <laughs> gets posed in after all as Mr. Olympia. <laughs> oh, I prefer that a lot better. <laughs> it might be a, yeah, it might be a. <laughs> yeah, when you win the Olympia, you don't need to qualify price. no more. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, so. I'd be a different price. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. What else is going on, man? Hey, Milos, did you fight? Uh, did you watch the fights this weekend? Well, of course. <laughs> huh? Yeah, of course. But listen, I had a chance to train Andrei Olavsky, and uh, I, during preliminaries, I had to go to the gym and train him. But I, I made it for the for the uh, main event. Mm. You remember Pitbull Andrei Olavsky? Yeah, of I course, mean, of course. Yeah, that, that was great. So he came here for a seminar. I was with Rich Franklin also, and then there was Dustin Poirier, but. Uh, I, I couldn't go. Uh, Derek Moneyberg, he's doing these uh, uh, seminars, and he brings all the UFC guys that he brought me. But uh, with Andre, I heard that uh, I'm going to train Derek. He came to the gym because 18 years ago, if you remember, for Flex Magazine photo shoot, yeah, uh, I went to Chicago and did the pictures with him. So we did the, the, the same kind of stuff. He is still fighting. He won 23 uh, heavyweight UFC fights, so he is a record holder. Only Jim Miller won more more fights than him. And he's fighting on a, on a June in Apex again. Yeah, I, I see. I see in his last fights, the last few fights, he didn't look too good. 
Yeah, he's a little old, he's a little older. He's he's he's, he's past, he's past yeah, his prime, past his prime. But he was a good guy though. He was a good yeah. fighter. Yeah. But uh what do you think about um the, um um uh Gaethje and and Fizi or Fizi or Fiji Fizi? I, I love the fight. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean Fizi won the first, first round for for me for sure. That 10 8 round didn't exist, you know? Uh, you've seen that one. So it, it was quite close, but uh, Gaethje closed in on the third round when Mathers and I, I could see. Hey, look, listen, victory. look, just look at the damage. Damage. Yeah. Damage yeah. alone, he had nothing. And the other guy looked like he got beat up with sticks. Yeah, but, but some guys, listen, I mean. I, I, I get it, I get it. But you know, don't you think the judges take that in consideration when you're seeing that he has not even not, not even a mark on his face? I don't. They they consider damage, but not you know what he's showing. Look, Crow Cup against uh, uh, Feather Emelianenko back in the day. Remember that fight? Uh, that that was a pride fight, and it was like oh, everybody was waiting for it. And I didn't watch it right away. You just see you know pictures right after the show, and according to the pictures, you know Mirko for sure won because uh, Fyodor Emelianenko was like damaged like big time. But then when you watch the fight, you see it was not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fiziev uh, looked bad, but listen, up until like third round, uh, you know, he could go either way. Yeah. How but did you see Usman? Uh, I saw, Leon? I saw that the same. Just I saw, I saw uh, um, uh, Usman losing that fight. Even with the it. deduction, I, I, it, I, it was, I it was close. No, it, by 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 decision, it was close. And you know, it, I guess it wasn't really that close because even though they took a point away from uh, from um, Edwards, he still won. So yeah, uh, Samson, are you watching UFC? I saw the Usman fight. That one I did. I normally yeah. don't follow it. No. no. That one I did. Uh, what what sports are you in, uh, Samson? What man, you I was always are you rugby, rugby man. I was a rugby guy. So we're here in the UK, man. So if you're not football, you know, rugby. I mean, I suppose a lot of guys follow UFC in the UK as uh, well. Well, mainly it's football. Well, especially because or, it was or, in the UK. Soccer. It was in London. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. So a lot of guys follow it here in the UK. Hey, so that's why I watched hey, did, it. Did you ever play uh, uh, cricket? Huh? Oh, man. No. Yeah, I can't fall asleep. You ever in that play cricket? Uh, no. Cricket. A lot of people love it, but I just can't. I can't. <laughs> hey, Dorian no. played cricket back in the day. What? No, he didn't. Dorian no, he didn't. Cricket. Yes, he did. No, I don't think he. No, he's <laughs> like Dorian. He, that's like me. Played. That's like me playing mini golf. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a mini golf is more exciting. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I think he played cricket, oh, no. man. I think he told me that. <laughs> so now oh. I just realized because uh, I'm going to Germany on uh, I, I, for for um, for my FIBO show. And I'm leaving on the 8th, and I forgot after I booked the ticket, I realized that it was a Saturday night when they have the UFC Miami. So now I'm going to be on the damn plane. I'll be there. I'll be on a plane to Germany. <laughs> I'll be on a plane to Germany, and I can't even watch the fights. Damn. So now I was thinking, okay, I'm going to buy the pay-per-view and then re-watch it when I get to Germany on, on my computer. It's blacked out in Germany. Oh no. Hey. no! I can't even use. I can't even buy the pay per view in Germany on my ESPN Plus. I have my my box. What where, about what, your? I have my box. Little... Yeah, but hey. I can only watch it live. I can't replay. <laughs> hey, right. Dennis, this is a moment when I have to say, "Too bad, so sad." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and fuck you too. <laughs> no, but I, you know, I'm thinking. I'm already making all kind of plans. What can I do? Somebody said, get a VPN, get a VPN. Then it would recognize your computer. It. Yeah, it would oh, recognize the computer being in the U.S. and then you can watch it on the pay per view if you buy it. I, I tell you this. I mean, uh, so maybe Milo has a code for me or something. I, I, ha I had on the <laughs> phone. I had on the phone John Jones when we had a dinner. I mean. Samson celebration dinner, right? I was a little bit late. Oh, you were watching it then. Yeah, but I had to watch it as we were eating, you know. So I watched it. it. No, yeah, but if you're, in, if, you're in the, if you're in the if you in the U in the US, it's easy to watch it on the pay per view, of course. Yeah. But the pay per view, ESPN Plus, is blacked out in Germany, in Europe. You diet down, train hard, and supplement smart for months. When the time comes to step on stage, don't leave your tan to chance. Go with the pros. Pro Tan.
number one worldwide since 1987 and the official sponsor of the Olympia for the last 15 years. Don't step on stage without it. Pro 10. So they have their own, I think, the zone, the zone, D A Z N. That's kind of like a pay per view dine in Europe and, and, and some other, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll make it happen. Yeah, for, for sure, you know, man. I mean, the I just got to make sure when I land in Frankfurt on Sunday morning that I'm not looking at my phone, not looking at fucking <laughs> Instagram, not looking at nothing before I start watching it. Oh, Milos is going to send you the results of it. I'm not going <laughs> to. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> ben Chow ben ben well. said. Ben Shaw says, okay, don't tell me the result, you know, because he, he has it here. And Valentina lost. Oh, Valentina lost. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I didn't say that. I, I, I did. I did uh, in front of Ben Shaw. Ben, ben was looking forward to go back to the hotel and watch uh, this. See, okay. see, I watched it from the hotel room in, in, at the Arnold. So, yeah. so um, I was just about to say something now. It's I, went up the, I went up to Dex's room and watched that. That was good. Yeah? But, uh, yeah, Samson, yeah. Uh, are you in a, were you in any mixed martial arts or any kind of martial arts? Oh, no, no. No, no I never had any. But what sport did you do? Uh, is this rugby? I did football, then and the basketball, and then rugby. That was it. Football, yeah. American football? Or, no, uh, uh, soccer. Soccer. Yeah. soccer. Yeah. You guys call it soccer. Proper uh, yeah. yeah. football. Proper <laughs> football. Yeah. No, the real football. The real football, yeah. What? Football. Barcelona? Ball, Barcelona you use you yeah. use your foot. That's a football. <laughs> <laughs> not with your hand. That's handball. That's not football. <laughs> you do that also. You do everything. The American, uh, American, we, got a, hey, we got a real strategy, though. Uh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. American football is the fake rookie. That's all it is. Strategic. <laughs> <laughs> Strategic. <laughs> hey, I want to I want to just revisit that Korea trip. You know, because yeah. a lot of people, uh, can you can you tell us about that one? Because uh, you lost the job. There was a bunch of things. Oh yeah, that was that was in twenty twenty. That I mean, people are probably most people know about it. It's basically you know during the time of Corona when all the whole things were going crazy, we really wanted to compete. We wanted to qualify for the Olympia. So the only place you know UK, we couldn't travel many places. So the only one and the only country that we were allowed to travel to was South Korea, but you had to quarantine for fourteen days when you get there. So basically, you know, I just looked at it and go, hell, you know, we all say about doing whatever it takes to achieve something, but we never really actually physically do it when everything is going okay. So in that situation, I'm like, hell, let's do it. So I'm, I literally filled my bag with uh, all the frozen food and everything that I can par- carry and head out there. And they basically put you in a room for 14 days. You can't leave. You're literally in the room for the whole 14 days. And yeah, after no training, days, no training. Oh, I was I was training. I was running on the spot for cardio. I was using bands for for work. I was doing handstands, push ups, and everything else to stay in shape. It was two weeks before a show. Oh wow! So so at that point, yeah, you, you know, it was like, okay, what you got to do just to stay in shape, you know, just to maintain your look for two weeks. So I was like, hell, okay, yeah, you this can do is it. Crazy, but yeah, you could do yeah, it. and posing exactly. exactly because you're already that close anyway. So I was like, okay, you can maintain that if you can just do enough in the room to kind of like stick to it. The only bad thing is obviously where they don't give you, you can't get any food. The only food they give you is three meals a day and it's the one that is more or less like an airplane meal. Mm. Those kind of meals. So you can't really eat none of that either when you're that close to the show. So we kind of like packed our suitcase with like saturated rice and all those stuff and frozen chicken and everything else that we can actually carry with us. So you, you cook the chicken and then froze it? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I had the old chicken grilled and packed them and then froze it and filled it out of my bag and took it over and put so- it in little... Little, you, little you, little you're lucky they didn't give you a hard time when you came into the country and took all your food away. Yeah, hey, at this point, you wanted me to, they wanted me to lock up in the room. I'm like, look, there's no meal requirements. If you can't let me order out or anything like that, I can't eat any of the stuff you have. So this is what I got to do. I got a show to compete in. Hmm. So, you know, what else do you do? It's like, okay. So at the time, I think they were more, a lot more concerned about, obviously, coronavirus and actually, okay, what food you actually bring in. Wasn't so that kind of like, was that show kind of like on the low, low? Oh yeah, they played that show. It was like on a low low. Yeah, <laughs> because the government wanted, it was it was crazy because it's like or after the fourteen day they canceled the show, and they basically said they postponed it for two weeks. If I want to stay for another two weeks after that, so I kind of yeah chose to stay and like okay do it. And then after two weeks they couldn't guarantee the show was going to happen. So when the following the peak was happened, they basically said look we can put on the show, but the government and everybody they can't know about it because they're going to stop it from happening. So we have to keep it on a low. So when we did the show, it was like you got there and they took your phone away from you. 
They took everything away from you. You didn't allow to show up with anybody. It was like in this in the auditorium, but nobody else, no cameraman, no nothing. So it was uh it was definitely on a low low. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey uh so. hey, Samson. Samson, I have yeah. a question. Yeah. So like back back in my day, I had a training partner. Uh you know him, his name is Flex Wheeler. Oh yeah. Um we had a, we had a we were like brothers, but we were like such a rival and to be in the same camp, it was uh it was special because not we didn't want to lose to each other yeah. and we would go we'd be so in close proximity to each other all the time we knew each other's weakness we knew um each other's strengths and we yeah. knew how to play how to play that against each other you had a similar situation it was almost like the battle of uk with you and nathan diasher yeah, but the thing oh, is, well, did you, you, you guys like that? liked each other. There's a difference. Yeah, yeah. You guys actually like. Oh, each other. you got. Oh, you guys. You guys are not fans of each other. <laughs> you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, 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 I just wanted. I just wanted to know because I knew what the I, hell out of you. I know. I remember. I remember. I did not. I did not start this at all. I did. I have tried multiple times to just be friends and be cool, but. Well, naked, hey, man. well, hey, listen, you let the body do the talking, so there ain't no much. <laughs> and, uh, and that's all it is, you know, but yeah, that was all it is. Well, I, was, you know. I just noticed it was a rivalry. I didn't know the, the significance of anything too much, I, but. I remember I because remember. I, I had you on the podcast at one point, but you you, yeah. you you never said anything negative, though, because you keep it always, no. you always stay, you, you cool. kind of stay in your lane, which I, which I really appreciate. But, mm -hmm. uh, well, see, now that makes sense. <laughs> uh, I didn't know. I didn't know. Chris had to start uh, that shit again. See? <laughs> no, I was just wondering because uh, because. Of the dog. Oh uh, yeah, but I, I don't know what was his point. I, I'm still uh, waiting for uh, the because the thing is, you can have a rivalry with somebody and train yeah. still train but, together. Yeah, and everything because at the end of the day, what happens on stage is what happens on stage. You guys don't get to say who well, wins. You just try to be well, the best. Yeah, but when we were going against each other, each other head to head, we split camp. Like yeah. we was not, we were not cool with each other. <laughs> we, 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 oh, we you and Flex, off. you and Flex. Yeah, we faced, we faced off in the gym a couple of times, and Rico oh, was wow. standing between us. Yeah, it was That's heated. No, and was it was weird. like half half the gym was split and everything. It was it was crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was crazy. Wow. Uh, that's why I was just wondering, like you know, how was that for you and. Um, you know <laughs> what came about it. And do you think you reclaimed the UK? Do you think uh, with the honor class, no. man, did you reclaim uh, the UK crown? I, listen, if I mean, I, I, lost Nathan, I like right? I like Nathan. Yeah. I like Nathan. But if yeah. you compare the physiques now, Nathan, there's no, it's no way Nathan can can beat uh, Samson at the point where he's at right now. There's no way. Yeah, I don't see that happening. Unless Nate, unless Samson comes in really off, so, but butter soft. And, and and then maybe yeah, I, I just thought it was very uh very uh I don't even know I don't even know if we're gonna see Nathan again on stage to be honest. Oh he will be back. He will be back. I think I he will. Think he'll be yeah. Back. I think he will. Is, yeah, as he much will. as he is, man, you know, Nathan's a fierce competitor, man. Nathan is I yeah, but know, what happened? What I don't and, and I don't know, but I think he tore his bicep and then he tore the other bicep. Oh, he told yeah. he told both. But he but he has the, the way his Because I see him training injuries. He had some injuries before to where his range of motion is not the greatest from what I known from being close to him before. And I think that had probably had something to do with it being, you know, uh, tearing the muscle apart yeah. uh, at this at this juncture of his career. Well, I mean, I see him training. So, I mean, if he can improve, you know, then it's a different. But I'm just going by what he looked like in the last show. Compared to what Samson looked like now, so I mean, if he wants to beat that, he needs to he needs to make some 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 changes. They had some right. battles before, I mean, back and forth. I mean, that last time it was like one point. Uh, Steve Weinberger, you know, did like three four rounds until he found a way. I mean, he's a tremendous competitor. He's yeah. great, audible, complete package, everything. And what I heard is that he can change like that. I mean, uh, in a matter of a few weeks. I mean, he uh, diets. He diets five oh, six yeah. weeks. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so no, but the, this kind of genetics, uh, you see, he is a hard worker though. He, yeah. he he will go. But you know, it's funny when I used to do some posing with him and uh, him and the Beast out there. 
out there in Kuwait, he would, uh, they wouldn't work that hard. And then when they pose together, they'd be like two pit bulls trying to take each other out. It was just, it was crazy to see. I actually liked them to pose together because they were trained so much harder mm. when they was around each other. Oh. So I was just wondering how you, how you guys, uh, you know, that might be a good little matchup, you know, in the future. I would like to see, see you guys uh, going at it again. Is there gonna is there gonna be uh, another Arnold show in 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 England or the UK? Or England? UK? No, I think they're having a through games. They're doing one in July called the Through Athletes Games. I don't think there's, there's, there's not gonna be an Arnold. No. Is that is that an open pro show too? That is a pro, open pro show. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh, it's not uh, it's not open. Oh, she said no. It's not open. It's not open. No. Oh okay. Is it bikini and all that stuff or? Yeah, I think so. Uh, two twelve. What is two twelve? Yeah, say your parents two twelve. Hmm. Can you hey, so how is uh, Mrs. Samson doing? Ah, oh, Mrs. Dowda. Dowda. <laughs> Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I, I don't know. If, I don't know if she took the last name, but uh, oh, she took, she took. Yeah, she took my last name. Yeah, she did. There you go. I sure. forgot the other day. Someone that, asked that me about. We we I gonna force we gonna force that name up on them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, do you got do you you know what Larsa Pippen is? Do y'all hear that this? She had like she said she was had when she was married. She was having sex four times a day. Who for like tw tw Larsa Pippen? Who for like Larsa oh. Pippen? Who is it? Uh, Pippen's ex uh, oh, ex wife. Oh, Scotty Pippen's oh, right, wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For 23 years, four times a day. No. Like, what, was your, what, was, what was your max, Dennis, when you was competing? She... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even think back. I can't even think back that long. Uh. <laughs> twice. Hey, I was on a, I was on a, I was on a, uh, twice a day. I was like, I'll go to the gym, train, come home, have sex, eat, rest, go to the gym, train, have sex at night. Like Twice a day. Twice a day. In the in the in the in in the meantime, I would have two meals and start growing. <laughs> <laughs> it was that. It was that. That's when that real paraballing was around, though. It was. It was oh. not my. It was not my choice. <laughs> <laughs> I, remember, hey, I, I remember. Once a month, and uh, and last month, not as often. Yeah, I remember one. <laughs> I remember Chris saying saying one thing to me one time, and I and it stuck. To, it's still in my head today, and I mentioned it. <laughs> and I mentioned it so many times. Chris looked at me. He looked at me. He was fucked up. He said, uh, "Testosterone is a hormone. You can't fight." <laughs> <laughs> That's what you told me. You lose every time. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fight the hormones. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> All right, so listen, guys. Hey, uh, I'm gonna wrap this up because it's late for Samson. And he needs to get uh, his food and yeah. his sleep. Milo's look is looking bored too, so we don't want to hold no, it. No, no, I just, you see, I don't want to overtake. I, I get too excited, and then everybody complains. Hey, shut up, Milo! You know, <laughs> oh. I'm kind of trying to hold back, right? Because I can talk to Samson any day. Right. Yeah. So, uh, you guys are That's yeah. why. Oh. Anyways, anyways, we okay. we we we, okay. we wish you uh, 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 uh injury-free, right healthy prep for the Olympia uh, this year, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing the absolute best Samson ever. Oh yeah. Yeah. Best of luck to you, brother. Oh, no, and, hey, and are they gonna man. are they gonna talk the early predictions? Come on, come on, though, Dennis. We can't. We can't. We. I predict. I predict. <laughs> Well, it's too early to predict because we don't even know the lineup yet. Yeah. But from the people that we know, I predict that Samson is the man to to to, to beat. Of be course, of course, Hardy, of course, Hardy is the Mr. Olympia. Yeah. But I think Personal. that you standing next to Hardy will be a, a, a super battle. The and, thing is, and yeah, Derek. The thing is, the thing is, yeah. the show that you won, and it looked like. It was some fierce competition. It was yeah. like it was oh, yeah, a tight. Yeah. It was one of the best Arnolds I've seen in a long time, yeah. if you ask me. There was only two and, guys and, missing. There was only two guys yeah. missing that yeah, are really, true. and that's There's, Derek and Hardy. To come oh, away from I, that, I, I want to. I want to actually jump in here because of of a uh, big Rami, okay? Because uh, 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 I maybe wasn't uh, fairly looking at him enough 
to judge because I was so focused on. Uh, on he looked Santa. really good, my friend. He looked really good. He did. Yes, he and did. then especially when I've seen now lately some pictures and comparisons mm -hmm. and footage and all this stuff. Like, hold on a second, you know. And, and, and this is how it could be, right? You focus on uh, on uh, somebody you don't really it's understandable it all the way. Understandable. Yeah, so when I've seen, I mean, Jesus Christ, Rami looked excellent, yeah. right? Yeah. And I, I'm kind of surprised that they didn't go for a little bit more comparisons. And that's once what, again, I, what I said. Milos, that's what I mentioned last week. I would have loved yeah, to see him. Yeah. They give him a chance to compete. Yes. So, so I want to I wanna know from, uh, from Samson, because Samson is always very realistic and honest. And then he, he assess the body, uh, you know, uh, perfectly. Could uh, uh, Rami be in conversation for, uh, you know, top three? Yeah. Because I Absolutely. remember seeing him backstage, I don't know, and I saw how much he improved from the Olympia. And he even had me shook at one point. I was thinking, damn, okay, he's coming a lot better than he was before. Mm. I was like, okay, this, yeah. this, this, is, this is crazy. Yeah. You know, and I was like, he was at a point where, you know, even when they did the first call out and they moved me into the middle and they moved him out, I was like, okay, ooh, all right, you know, I'll take that. But yeah. at the same time, I know how good he was and how good he looked at that show. He was definitely, without a doubt, better. Yeah. Well, I, I, I've seen improve in many areas, and uh, you know, overall package was dramatic. So I'm kind of surprised. Now, uh, Jay Cutler said something that was funny. Like he would sponsor a call out. <laughs> so imagine now, fifty thousand dollars sponsorship. Let's have a big Rami and the Nick Walker, right? You know, Jay Cutler and Nutrition for the whatever sponsorship. Uh, Andrew Jack and, and Samson. I, I, those are kind of two man-to-man uh, -man, uh, comparisons. Oh, no. I think it would it would make audience crazy. Pictures of it would be forever, right? It's it's still, if you go man to man, uh, it's so much more than when you have a four guys on the but stage. You, but, you, but you also know what's funny, though? We talk about, we already talk about the Olympia. It's going to be, you know, Samson, uh, uh, Hardy, uh, Derek, Nick. Nobody mentions Brandon Curry. Brandon Curry, yeah. yeah I was going to say that. Is that strange? Yeah, All of a sudden, a Mr. Olympia that's been in place in top two Second for two years back to back and then fourth last year that nobody even he's, mentioned he's, his I name. Mean, but but he's always in the top three, uh, top uh, the four for yeah, many but how, years. Yeah, but how he, so, he was, he, well, he won the Olympia. Know, but, he I'm won in say, 2019, then he got second two years back to back and then he got fourth. I know I was going to say, do, do you think, you know, from coming down from actually winning it, do you think people are considering that a strikeout? When you don't win it again, when I don't know. Taking, I don't know. I'm just. Maybe, I'm, I'm just, just saying the, the mindset behind. Okay, he didn't could win be. it again. Is he able? Could be. That? That, you think people are questioning that? It's just we talk about how we bring. We mentioned five, six names, and not one time anybody mentioned Brandon Curry. Because he, I mean, he wasn't I think, in the I think last think show. A lot of it, I huh? think a lot of it. The, the, I think a lot of it. It's a. It's a upswing of, of physiques, in the sport. Can Brandon awesome. Curry can Brandon Curry still win the Olympia? It's possible. You listen, he has a beautiful. It is life. possible, man. And, and we we all know anything is possible. But yeah. in your in your opinion, has uh, he I, I does he have the goods to beat Samson? Look, look this is this is how it, it was. But last Samson year, got uh, those wheels. That's that's <laughs> crazy right now. I, I'm know? gonna tell you this. Last year at Arnold Classic, uh, Samson and ship. I were just hoping he's gonna get the call out next to Brandon just to be compared. This, this was our plan, right? And a little mistake that we did, and, and uh, Samson and I keep talking about, there was uh, one moment when he was on stage right next to him, but uh, it didn't start yet, and he wasn't really ready to maybe attract the attention. If he did, you know, just to get the call out with him, it would be a different story already when they would see him, you know, pose by pose right next to Brandon. So we finally had it at Olympia. Mm -hmm. I thought that the uh, Olympia, we could have taken him. Again, yeah, we needed a little bit more conditioning. Uh, Brandon needed a more conditioning, but Brandon still needed the more size downstairs. Mm. You know, so we are working on the last things that we need to fix. I mean, Samson's legs are among the best in, in the business, right? And balance is among the best. And then size, 
who is 300 pounds. So we have a lot of things going for that for some reason, judges maybe didn't see before to give him comparison with Brandon Natano Classic, which I thought should have been you know, done, even 2022 you know, Arnold Classic. So this is kind of thing. Ronnie Coleman worked for years until he was actually noticed. I mean, look at Ronnie 96. Even 96 at Olympia, there was a moment he stands next to uh, Dorian Yates. You know, find those old, old, old footage. But you didn't see that crazy back and crazy chest and arms and everything. How come? Well, you know, it's still coming. It's, so it's, it's, probably, it's probably exactly what you mentioned because you're so focused on looking at someone that you don't see, you know, you know, it, it can yeah, happen. You, you, I, can, you, can I, literally, I, you can literally overlook someone because you focus or you bias or you focus on someone else. I used to hate when a judge tell that. me, oh, just come in and do that same, do it again next year. I'm like, do it again next year. Like, damn, dude, I did it right now. Like, you saw me right now. <laughs> come back next, come back next year. <laughs> yeah, come, back, come do it again. So, well, we, we put it this way. Samson will never be overlooked in his life. Again. Anymore. Never again. Yeah. So this is where we stand. And uh, and oh, now we, we go one by one comparison. Look, it's going to be, again, biased coach and talking this. I just have a faith. This is the best, for me, is best bodybuilder today. Mm. Damn. Today. Hmm? Damn. That's fucking great. Hey, but, hey, but <laughs> Can you better? Samson, no, check yeah. this out. Samson, can you remember? Yeah. Can you remember, like, like 10 minutes ago, I said, This is it, guys. I know, I know. Yeah, keep yeah, going yeah. on. You got a second win. You said I was bored. <laughs> <laughs> you challenged him. You challenged, you challenged me, Lo. Okay, go ahead. No, but, Listen, and you, I want to zip it up. Can you think back of those days to where, you know, money was low or oh. whatever your situation was? Uh, yeah. You're in the gym, you're putting in the work. You, uh, it's a holiday. You only oh, one, yeah. only one of the only ones in the damn gym. Man, you're hoping that was it's less than two years off. ago. I remember it very oh, clearly. You, you're hoping it's gonna pay off. Yeah. And then when it finally pays off, like you have to think back, like damn, like all this shit was worth it, man. It was worth. Oh it. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, right at that moment and on the stage where they called you out as a winner, all right. not all flashback. Awesome. Not all. Yeah. Crap, all right, champ. One it. more time. We wish you all the best. Milos, love you. Chris, I love you. Let's do this. Let's get out of here. I'll see you guys hey, next hey, Tuesday. Hey, hey, I'll see you later. It's real, LV, brother. It's real? That's real. Homie. Is it real? How much was it's it? How, mu how much was it? 36. A suck in that stomach, man. What, thir what 36, 36, hey, some... $36 or 3600 600. 3600 Yeah. Uh, you know that. You know that. that Samson LB, Atlanta. Don't I wouldn't waste. Oh. I'll see you soon. Uh, <laughs> Love you guys. All right. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Uh, take care. <laughs> <laughs>